Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I show you how I crochet this mini pineapple. He's super adorable, really short and compact. I actually want to compare him to this other one that I made. So as you can see, it's actually the same thing. The only difference is the leaves. This is me before biotin and after. Look at all that hair. So he's actually really simple to make. It is time consuming if you choose to do this kind of leaf. It just adds more to it. Of course, I'll let you know how to do that in the video, but this is the kind that I'll show you in today's video. And then I do also have the pattern that I wrote. You can screenshot it later in the next couple of clips, but if you're interested in making one of these guys, I'll let you know what you'll need. I'll be using a crochet hook in the size 5.5 millimeters, 12 millimeter safety eyes, a stitch marker, threading needle and scissors, black embroidery thread, fiber fill or stuffing. I have the Red Heart Super Saver yarn in bright yellow, and the green yarn is from Karen's One Pound Yarn. I don't remember the name, but I will link it down below or insert it in this clip if I can find it. Before we get started, I wanted to show you my written pattern in case you don't want to follow the video and you know how to read patterns. Here it is. I know it's a little bit messy. You know, one day I'm going to type it all up, but for now, all of mine's look like this. And I just wanted to mention that here, if you know what the bobble stitch is, it will the pineapple will look fine because that's how I made the original like four of my other ones and it looks good but when i did it the fifth time i actually forgot how to, to do the stitch and then i did it a different way which is kind of similar and it looks cute still so i'm gonna do that in this video because i prefer it that way so if you're not gonna follow the video doing the bobble stitch is totally fine but if you're following this video it's going to be a little bit different also um this part might be a little bit confusing this is the leaf area so if you have any questions just leave them down below and i can answer we're going to start off with the base of our pineapple by creating a magic circle so take your yarn and wrap it around your fingers to create this x now what you can do is take your hook and insert inside the circle grab some of this yarn i'm going to take my hands on this side and just grab this part of the yarn so i can secure it and yarn over and pull through. Then you can tighten it up just by pulling on the yarn. And now to close your circle, you wanna pull it this way, but you don't wanna close it too much yet because we're gonna single crochet six times into our circle. So you're crocheting into the circle and also around this yarn. So I'm going to go inside my circle, take some of this yarn through, yarn over, and pull through both loops. So that was one single crochet. I'm going to do that five more times and end off with a slip stitch. I currently have six single crochets and to close the circle, all you had to do was pull this yarn and then it kind of shuts it close. But to end off round one, and the only way you have to end off a round like this is for this round. So you're just going to slip stitch into your first stitch. So there's my first stitch. I'm taking my hook and putting it through the stitch and pulling some yarn all the way through. And then now I'll take my stitch marker, put it into the last stitch, and that's the end of round one. For round two, we want to increase into every stitch. An increase is two single crochets into each of the stitches. So here you can see my first one. I'm going to do one single crochet, and then I'll do another one into that same stitch again. So that makes two into my first stitch. And if I repeat that all the way through, I'll end up with 12 stitches in total for round two. For round three, we're going to start off with an increase into the first stitch. Here is my first stitch. I'm going to do my two single crochets. Now in my next stitch, I'm just going to do a single crochet. And I'm going to repeat those steps all the way through until I end up with 18 stitches in total for round three. For round four, we're going to start off once again with an increase into the first stitch. So that was one into the first stitch and then my second one. And then now I'm going to single crochet into the next two stitches. So here's that next stitch. That's one. And then here's the stitch after two. I want to repeat those steps all the way through until I end up with 24 stitches in total for round four. Round five is the last round for the base of our pineapple, which is also our last increasing round. So that means we want to start off with an increase into the first stitch. That's one. 
two into the same stitch. Next, we're going to single crochet into the next one, two, three stitches. And then you're going to repeat those steps all the way through until you end up with 30 stitches in total for round five. Round six is going to be where a pineapple starts to go upward, so it's going to curve now. What we're going to do first is half double crochet into the first stitch. So half double crochet is yarning over your hook. You want to insert your hook inside the stitch, take some of this yarn and pull it through. You currently have three loops. Now you want to yarn over one more time and pull through all three loops. Okay, before we get to the next stitch, I have to mention this because if you did watch what I crocheted during like the quarantine time, that stitch for the pineapple was a bobble stitch. Now I did practice the pineapple about four times. So what I'm doing now is not the bobble stitch because when I tried it my like, fifth time, this is what I actually did instead because I thought it was the bobble stitch. So I'm going to do this stitch because I kind of like it better. But if you know what the bobble stitch is, you can go ahead and do that. And I don't know what to call this stitch. I don't know if it is a stitch. It probably is. But since I don't know what it is, I'm just going to continue calling it the bobble stitch. But please know it is not the correct way to do the actual stitch. I just don't know what to call it right now. So... Now, sorry, that was a long explanation, but I have to explain it because if you know what it is, I don't want you to get mad for me teaching the wrong thing. But anyways, you want to now yarn over your hook, and then you want to go into your stitch and pull some of this yarn through. So now you have three loops. You're going to do that two more times. So yarn over and do it into the same stitch, the exact same thing. We now have five. You want to yarn over again and go through the same stitch. So you currently have seven loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now lastly, you're going to yarn over your hook again and pull through all three loops. So if you push um, the back of this outwards, it will make it pop up a little bit, but you don't have to worry about that right now because we have a lot more to go. So basically you want to repeat that all the way through until you end up with 30 stitches in total, but I'm going to show you this one more time. So we want to start off now with our half double crochet, which is yarning over our hook, inserting into the stitch, pulling this yarn through. We have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three. Now we're going back to our, what should I call it? Let's just say bobble. Let me come up with a name while I keep doing this. But now we're going to yarn over a hook, go into the stitch. We have three. Now we're going to do this two more times. So yarn over, go through, pull some of this yarn through, yarn over one more time, go into the same stitch, take some of this yarn through. We have seven loops. Seven. Okay, now yarn over and pull through all seven loops. And then just repeat that until you reach back to your stitch marker and we can move on to round seven. Before I start round seven, I just wanted to say if you guys know what that stitch is, please let me know down below. I couldn't find the name of it or I wouldn't even know how to search it up. But if you know, let me know in the comments below. And now starting round seven, we're going to start off with an increase into the first stitch. So we're just going to expand this pineapple one more time because I want it to curve. I don't want it to curve like straight up. I want it to have a little nice little round edge so we want to start off by increasing into the first stitch here is my first stitch here that's one single crochet and another into that same stitch next I'm going to single crochet into the next four stitches so one two three and four And then I'm going to repeat that all the way through until I end up with 36 stitches in total for round 7. For round 8, we're going back to our bobble stitch, or whatever it's supposed to be called, and we're going to start off with our half double crochet first. So I'm yarning over my hook and inserting it into my first stitch. Three loops, yarn over and pull through all three. Next, we're going to do our bobble stitch. So yarn over, insert it into the next stitch. Three loops we'll do that two more times until we get seven loops into the same stitch here's my seven now yarn over and pull through all seven and all you have to do is repeat those steps all the way through and you're still going to end up with 36 stitches 
round nine we're just going to single crochet this entire round which means you will still end up with 36 stitches in total once you finish round nine you're now going to repeat doing the bobble round and then the single crochet round and then the bobble and the single you want to do that for rows 10 to row 16 so let me just bring my pattern this is where we currently are now you're just going to do this part. I'm going to do this off camera because it's basically a repeat and you want to end up with 36 stitches in total for each of those rounds. Okay, so also I wanted to mention this pineapple is short and compact. If you want your pineapples to be longer, you will just add a couple more of these rows. So now I'm just going to finish this part off camera and I'll be back for row 17 when we decrease. Another thing I wanted to mention is the way I also keep track of my rounds is I make sure I have six bobbles. So currently I have two. I'm going to need four more until I reach round 17. If you're going to add a couple more rows, you want to make sure you end off with a bobble round because when we do our decreases, we need it to be when we're doing the single crochets so we can easily decrease. And I hope that made sense, but yes, make sure you have six bobbles if you're following this exact pattern. I'm back after completing round 10 to round 16, and here you can see my six rows of the bobbles. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now moving on to round 17, we're going to start off with our first decreasing round. So we're actually going to start off with a decrease, and to do that we need to go into our first stitch, which is right here, insert our hook, take some of this yarn and pull it through. We currently have two loops. Now we want to move into our next stitch after that. And we're just going to do the same exact thing, pull some yarn through. And now we have three loops we want to yarn over and pull through all three. And then we're going to single crochet into the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now you want to repeat those steps all the way through until you end up with 30 stitches in total for round 17. For round 18, we're going back to our bobble round. So we want to start off with a half double crochet. Now I'm going back to the bobble into the next stitch. So I yarned over, going into the stitch, three loops, Doing it again, and then my last time into that same stitch for seven loops on the hook. And now I'll yarn over again and pull through all seven. So then you just want to alternate and do the half double and bobble until you end up with 30 stitches in total for round 18. Now we're just going to take a moment and insert our safety eyes onto our pineapple and also put on the mouth and add a little bit of stuffing. So you can see I kind of have a little snag here with this yarn so of course I'm just going to probably put it in this area so you can see that at the back instead but I'm just going to place my eyes closer to the bottom of the pineapple. You don't have to do it at the bottom, I kind of just like the look that way. So I'm going to insert it into the space a little bit above the bobble. So there, and then one right here. Next, I'm just going to take my thread, embroidery thread, and insert it into the needle. And I'm going to go from the back. So inside here, I'm just going to find a spot that I like. Obviously you can adjust it, like it might not look good on the first try, but usually I stay towards the inner sides. I don't make the mouth too big. So let's see how that looks. I think that's good enough. Now you can just tie it on the insides. So I just go from in here tie a little knot a couple times to make it secure. Okay, I almost forgot to mention, but you can see these little guys kind of pop out by themselves once you add the stuffing. But if you want it to be a little bit more prominent, what you can do is just go from the inside and you can see this one here. It's not as popped out. All you have to do is push it 
and it'll bring it out a little bit more so you can go ahead and do that if you like but i find that once i add stuffing it already pops out and it looks pretty good itself so next we're going to move on to round 19 with another decrease round 19 we want to start off with the decrease so i'm going into my first stitch pulling that yarn through going into the stitch after and doing the same thing i have three loops i'm going to yarn over and pull through all three next i'm going to single crochet into the next three stitches so here's one two and three you're going to repeat those steps all the way through until you end up with 24 stitches in total for round 19. For round 20 we're going to start off with a half double crochet into the first stitch and then we're going to do a bobble stitch so that's one two and my third time into the same stitch here is my seven loops, yarning over and pulling through all seven loops. And then you're going to alternate between those two stitches and end up with 24 stitches in total for round 20. We finally made it to our last round with the yellow yarn. So we're going to start off with a decrease into the first two stitches. So here's my first stitch, that next stitch after, I have three loops yarning over and pulling through all three. Next, we want to single crochet into the next two stitches. So here's one, and there's my second one. And I'm going to repeat those steps all the way through until I end up with 18 stitches in total for round 21. Once you finish round 21, you can cut off your yellow yarn and also add more stuffing if you feel the need to. To end off this round, once you cut it off, all you have to do is insert your yarn through the circle and pull it to secure it and you can just tuck that in there because we are now done with the yellow yarn next we're going to take our green yarn so let me grab that here and let me get my hook and i'm just going to attach it by tying a knot so what i'm going to do you can actually go into any stitch it honestly doesn't matter so i'll just pick this one here taking my green yarn grabbing it with my hook from the inside and pulling it through Next, I'm just going to tie it, and it's that simple. Okay, so for our pineapple, let's start off with round one, or I guess row one. For row one, we want to chain 10. So we're going to put our hook back into that stitch, and we're going to take this yarn through. And now let's chain. So a chain is yarning over your hook and pulling through. So that was one, and I'm going to do nine more. Now you can see here I put slip stitch into the next three. So we're going, this is, we're not going to go into the stitch that's closest to the hook because obviously it's too close. You want to go into that second one and put your hook through, pull through both of it. It's going to be a little bit difficult because it's the end, but that was one slip stitch. So next I'm going to do the same thing into my second stitch, pulling straight through. And there goes my third one here. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is single crochet into the next two. So this is gonna be a little bit e easier. You see that stitch? Yarn over, pull through. And do that one more time into that stitch. I'm losing my voice, it's the end of the video. <laughs> okay, yarn over and pull through both. Now we're going to do a half double crochet into the next two. So we start off with yarning over, going into that stitch. We have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three. So that was once, we're going to do that one more time to that next stitch after. Now this is a double crochet into the next two. So a double crochet, we want to yarn over, insert our hook into that stitch, pull some yarn through. We have three loops, but this time we're going to yarn over and pull through only two of them. And then we have to yarn over again and pull through the last two. So we want to do that one more time into our last stitch here. 
yarning over and pulling through two, yarn over again and pull through the last two. So to end off this round, I'm going to single crochet into that same chain where we started off because I want to secure it. Okay, so let me just take this out really quick. So as you can see here, I put a single crochet into the next stitch because I want it less full for this one that I'm going to show you. If you want your pineapple to look like this guy where he has a full head of hair, you're going to go into your next stitch and do a chain. So if you're confused, let me just show you really quick. So if you want a full head of hair, you're going to single crochet once. And then you're going to do your chain now and that will give you this look. And you're gonna go on to row two. If you want less hair, you're gonna single crochet one more time to the next stitch. So two single crochets, that was one and that's two. And now we're gonna do our chain for row two. Row two, we're going to chain 11. Once you have a chain of 11, you want to slip stitch to the next two stitches. So similar to what chain 10 was except we're only doing it twice here's my first stitch taking that and just pulling it through as best as i can i know it's a tight space that's one there's my second one into the next stitch now we're going to single crochet into the next two stitches so here's that stitch one Two. Okay, next we're going to half double crochet into the next two stitches. So again, similar to chain 10. A half double shape, what I just did was yarning over and pulling through some of this yarn. I have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three. Now we're going to double crochet into the next two stitches. So let's yarn over, go through our stitch three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over again, and pull through the last two. Now I have to do that one more time. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do, triple crochet into the next two. Okay, so a triple crochet, we're going to now yarn over twice. So you can see what I just did once, twice, we're going to go into the stitch. We have some yarn. Now we just want to take it through. Well, we're going to yarn over first. Take it through the first two. Yarn over again. Take it through the next two. Yarn over one last time and take it through the last two. So I'll show you that one more time because we have one more stitch. Once. Twice. Going into our stitch. Pulling some yarn through. We have four loops. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over again, pull through the next two. Yarn over one last time and pull through the last two. And then we're going to end it off by single crocheting back into where our chain started. And that is the end of row two. Next up, we want to single crochet into our next stitch. Remember, if you're doing the full head of hair, this is where your chain is going to be. If you're not doing the full head of hair, we're going to single crochet one more time and start our chain of 12 this time. So this is row three. Now that I have my chain of 12, what I want to do is slip stitch into my first stitch. So here's my first stitch. Remember, it's the second away from the hook. And pulling straight through. Next, I'm going to single crochet into the next two stitches. So here it is. That was one. Going into my next one for a two. Next up, we have a half double crochet into the next two. So yarning over, going into that stitch. We have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three. Now let's do that one more time into the next stitch. 
Okay, so what we have next is a double crochet into the next two stitches. There's my three loops, yarning over and pulling through two, yarning over and pulling through the last two. So I have to do that one more time into the next stitch. Okay, so into our next stitch, we're gonna double crochet two times. So into the same stitch this time. So yarning over, here's my next stitch. Three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay, we have to do that one more time into the same stitch. So yarn over. And that was into the same stitch. So moving on, we're gonna do a triple crochet into the next two. So that's yarning over two times. Going into our next stitch, we have four loops, yarn over, pull through the first two yarn over and pull through the next two, yarn over and pull through the last two. Okay, so now we're going to do that again, but into the next stitch. If I can get it in the stitch. Okay, there it goes. It's going to be a little harder to see because this is curving now. Okay, but since that was the same, it didn't matter too much. So for our last stitch, we want to triple crochet two times in the same stitch. So you already know what a triple crochet is by now. So I'm gonna do that into my last stitch. Okay, I have to do that one more time into the same stitch. So I did it twice of yarning over, going into the same stitch, pulling through the first two, the next two, and the last two. Then we're gonna end it off by single crocheting into that same chain. And now all you have to do is alternate these three rows and you'll be done with the top part of the little pineapple. So here's what it looks like so far. We just have our three rows and I'll be back after I finish going all the way around. Hey guys, I'm not finished, but I wanted to pop back on because I wanted to show you where I'm currently at. So this leaf right here is where I started the chain of 10, and this leaf I'm currently at is the chain of 12. And now you see I have this empty space where I'm going to do my last leaf. Now because this is a chain of 12, technically I would go back to chain of 10, but I don't want 10 and 10 next together. It's fine if you do that, but because I want this to look a little bit fuller, since I did do the single crochet 2 and then the leaf, I'm actually going to do chain of 11. In here. I hope that didn't confuse you, but technically you don't have to follow the same exact steps. You can play around with it and put the leaves anywhere you like. I kind of just did it this way, but um, I do change it up when I crochet sometimes. So let me just show you the full one again. So for the full one, you can see when you close it up, all these do move around. So it doesn't matter too much um, how you alternate these. But yeah, just wanted to pop back in and let you know that for my last one here, let me just show you. I'm going to single crochet into this little messed up stitch once, and then my last time. And here is where I'm going to do my chain of 11, and I'll be back once I finish that. Now that I've finished my last leaf, what I'm going to do is single crochet back into my last chain stitch. And then I'm going to take my scissors and you have to cut off excess piece of yarn because we're going to use this to sew around the sides. So I'm just going to cut some here. Next, I'm just going to insert this piece of my yarn through the loop and secure it that way. Now what we want to do is take our threading needle and insert our yarn through. If I can get it through. Okay, there we go. I always have trouble when you're like the ends of my project when I'm recording. Oh my god, I used the wrong yarn. I attached it to the yarn thing. 
Okay, I'm back and I attached it to the right piece of the yarn this time. So what we're gonna do is go from the outside and sew it. So you can see this is where my last leaf is. And what I'm gonna do is try to insert it closest to where the leaves are. So you can see this stitch here. I'm going from inside back out. And then you just want to pull it through. And you have to do that all the way around until you end up back at the leaf, this first leaf where you were at. So again, I'm going to go, you just have to find a perfect stitch, well, a perfect stitch that you could get into. You can go into one of these if you like, but it's just a little bit harder to poke through. So here you can see the little circles or the little loop stitch. Insert it in and pull it through. Going into my next one, I can see an opening here, going inside, back out, and I'll do that until I reach back to my first leaf. I've made it back to my first leaf where I started off my stitching, and all I have to do now so you can see there's the opening there still. All you have to do is just pull on this yarn and it closes up. Okay, just push your stuffing in and there it's closed. So what you have to do now just to make sure it's secure because of course you can still see the circle here, the opening I mean. And what I like to do is go from the inside and then I'm going to do the same exact thing just from the inside. So I'm just finding any part of the leaf I can get into. You can see I'm inserting into the back and then back in. And I'm just pulling it. It's going to be a little, a little, a little, what am I saying? <laughs> a little difficult to see, but let me just close this guy up. Now from the inside, it is a little bit more difficult to pull because of the tight space. But what I like to do is the circle thing going around might not work because it is so tight. So what I do is go into another leaf from the opposite side and then I just insert my threading needle. And you can see it closes it that way. And just pull it and depending on the leaf you pick it's going to end up in the middle so if you want the smaller leaves in the middle find the small one you can attach it to so like this guy here and if i pull it he's going to the inside and then you can have the larger ones on the outside so let me just finish closing this up and then i'll be right back once you have everything almost secure what you're going to do now is close off your pineapple so what i do is just take my threading needle and find any stitch you want that will close up the end and before you pull it all the way through you want to make sure you have the loop still so we can pull it through to secure it so here's my loop i'm just pulling the rest of the yarn and you can see i still have this loop here so what i'm going to do is take my yarn the rest of my yarn and insert it into that circle and that helps secures it. So you have to do that a couple more times and then you want to stuff all this yarn back into the pineapple. Now that you've finished closing up this circle, you have to adjust your hair because you can see it looks pretty flat. Now you'll just want to play around with it a little bit and then twist some of them, the larger ones, and style this guy up. So I'll be back after I finish fluffing all my leaves. Once I finish styling his hair, this is what he looks like. He's really cute, and I want to show you the comparison if you did the full head of hair. I really like the full head of hair. It does take a lot longer, and I think it would also look good if you did extend the length of your pineapple. But both of these are pretty adorable, isn't it super cute? And I think that's about it with these guys. So if you followed all the way till the end, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you love these pineapples.